Joe Fun Reed, just your basic, you know, ultra violent insurrectionist race war fantasy. Not to do with extremists. This right here is a Hitler youth knife. Looks genuine too. It's got an inscription on the blade. It reads blue wound air. I think I'm saying that right. It means blood and honor. These were both accounts back there. Fun little gifts from Richard Beck. <sighs> so Richard's a white supremacist. Yeah. So I dug into him based on that angle. Couldn't find any current connections, but I did find an old dummy Facebook account of Bex from 10 years ago. Back then, he followed white identity sites, white nationalists, white separatists. You can call them whatever the hell you want. They all preach the same thing, racist hate. And he's feeding it to his grandchild. Yeah, he is poisoning that kid. That's what we were missing with Samantha. That's why it felt so wrong between her and her dad. Look, we can't police him for his views, no matter how hateful they are. It's not actionable unless he's committing a crime in the name. His DTO could have links to other white supremacist chapters. He'd be funding it with the proceeds. If that's possible, dig into that. But that angle still means we get him for drug trafficking first. Just stay the course. Hey, I've been looking for you. Team's headed out for the night. Alright. You're still running Samantha. Yeah. So, she's homeschooled her whole life by her dad. Okay. There's no evidence she's ever been out of building. All of her income comes from him. He co-signed the lease on her house. She's tied to him. Uh, in every way. So, maybe she just can't leave. I'll tell you what, though. You should have seen her face when she found the knife in the book. It was primal. She didn't want that stuff anywhere near her kid. She can be a protective mom and still be involved in this. He's trafficking drugs, and her family died because of their meth. I mean, if you think you can protect her... Something about she and the kid that reminds me of us, you know, that's what's different. Like, and she writes cute little notes to Callum on a post it note in the school lunch like we do. And Callum, he's sweet like Mac. Still just a sweet kid. Let's go home before you have to go back all night. Let's go see our daughter. It's final three. Need you a little product on those first four trucks there. All right. We talk about yesterday, please. No. Look, it sure didn't feel right. You know, I'm trying to understand what I got myself into here. So if there's something going on with your dad. Look, does this seem like the right place to talk about this? Does this feel right to you? No, you don't. Nothing feels right. That's why I asked. Frankly, you seem like you could use somewhere to talk to. Suit yourself. I'm good at it. I'm talking. My older sister talks like she breathes, and my daughter Michaela, she says I got a nice, soft talking to kind of face. So, <laughs> so do with that what you want. All right, here we go.
Sir? This man's a job me to load these trucks. There's something you need me for. Come with me. I know that. I know. We should talk. Okay. But what? My daughter. My grandson. Samantha likes you. I like her too, sir. She's never brought anyone in before. Resourceful. Well, but I wonder. Mm -hmm. 